Okay, gang, we're doing uh, Fridays with Farley. He's playing around a little bit. He just got done with a nap. Um, we're gonna feed him in a little second, but uh, you wanna take a look at this little poo head? Hey. What are you doing? Sit. Good boy. Go get it. That's his favorite game to play. Have you guys noticed he doesn't have a face? Did he not get the ball? Oh, way to embarrass us. Left the ball down there. Usually, do. what do you, this isn't a treat. We got him this uh, food bowl. Alyssa follows nine million accounts on <laughs> Instagram that are all about newfies. And there's this bowl that you can get them. It's for like brain games kind of thing. Yeah, like some mental puzzles. Yeah, mental puzzles, so. Oh, oh headbutt at the counter. Thumbs up or thumbs down when people do, dog yeah, dog. do dog talk for their dog. So say, so I'm gonna do it right now. He has ball, paw wins. What are you doing? What? Me's hungry, mommy. Me play time. I hate that. I hate that. When Alyssa made this account, I said, if you talk in dog talk on there, I'm done. Okay? I'm throwing you and the dog out. <laughs> Look how fluffy he is. We just gave him a bath. Yeah, because you know what he did? Why don't you tell him what he did? He laid down in his poop. -poo. He laid in your poop. Oh. Oh. He's 10 weeks old. He's 30 now, 30, over 30 pounds. He's fed well. We give him McDonald's in the morning, KFC in the afternoon. He gets a family sized chicken bucket. And then at nighttime, he switches it up. Sometimes we're like, do you want Pizza Hut? Pizza, pizza. He kind of, he says both. Oh, like, I feel like a two year old child. Look at his little legs dangling down. <laughs> so, this is the extent of what Alyssa and I have been doing for the past. Week. We sleep on separate schedules. Do any of you guys or have any of you guys owned a puppy before? What kind of dog and how was it? And did your relationship stay strong with your significant other or did it falter? Luckily ours hasn't faltered, except when he lays in his poo. I don't, we don't like that. And he sits and sometimes he stays when we say stay and he goes in his bed. I feel so lame doing this. I feel like the parents are like, this is my child. He does this, this, and this. And everybody's like, I don't care. Are you gonna show me anything of value? Probably not. At about three in the morning, he has a little playtime with his toys in the crate. And has any of you guys ever dealt with this? He moans when he does it. It's like, like, mm, mm. like he's having too much of a fun time with his chew toys. You know, I'm the same when I eat Reese, so. Sit. Down. Becoming a, a child dog actor, we're gonna be taking Sit. advantage of him. In your bed. Stay. She has a treat. Here, stare down. It only comes when it's, the command is done. Okay. Yeah, good boy, buddy. We've been following a lot of dog trainers now, and the thing I noticed, they're usually all alpha male. Very weirdly excited about the power that they get with the dog. No, you could sit now. And they try like, go over and be like real masculine with the dog. And it's like, I wonder what they're like with actual humans. He likes to do a drool, right? Farley, come here. Hello. Yeah, the puppy butt, oh. It. My hand is just ripped up. The next thing that I want to teach him is ring the bell when he wants to go pee or poo. Until he gets all his shots. This is only 10 weeks. He gets his last shot, I think, 14 weeks or 15 weeks, 16 weeks, I think. And then we can take him out dog walking because right now, if we do, if he smells another dog's poo poo or licks another dog's butthole, he could die from ringworm, okay? And I know first experience because I got it from doing that to a dog and it's not. Fun. He knows to pee and poo outside already. He, I think he figured it out two, three days after having it. I mean, of course he has exact accidents every now and then. Who doesn't, right? Alyssa's found me many times pooing on the floor. Right? I don't want to talk about that. When we first moved in, I was scared too. I didn't have my mom and I was pooing and peeing all over the floor because I, I don't know, I was uh, frightened and then I was sent home with a pair of, uh, a pair of <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say my mom's bra, so I could smell it like a litter mate. You know the way they give it like their mom's thing, but that's weird. That's so weird. Oh, can I show them the chicken? No. Please. She got a damn chick, a squeaky chicken. It's the worst what? thing in the okay, world. Okay, it's a little one though, and I only take uh, it out on occasion. 
Here it is. Yep, it's like crack cocaine. Whitney Houston on a Friday night with Bobby Brown. He snapped off his ass. Come here. Oh. Oh, okay. It's like pop rocks for kids. Look at him. <laughs> I'm on keto, so I can't eat that. Chicken, what are you talking about? It's plastic, Alyssa. Okay, that was the point of the joke. Oh, oh isn't that great? What happens if we have, a, if, when we have a child and they have those toys that ding dong, ding dong, I'll kick the child and the toy out the window. Huh? Where's your face? She looks like a black sock. You wanna do food time, Farley? You want ding dings? He's actually so lucky. He gets to have this thing. They call it dog food, but I've been kind of trying it. It's really good. It's it's called kibble, I think, but it's a mix of lamb and chicken and uh, from Imes, this place called Imes, I think they're, it's like a Swedish restaurant that make it. Every time I try sneak in and grab a little when it comes up, right? What? What's up? Oh, no. Oh. So this is the little bowl we got him. I don't like that jumping. Mommy doesn't like the jumping. Stay. We're trying to do our, our Karen parenting. Okay, no, I don't like that. Okay. Good boy. Oh, there Good he is. Good boy. This apparently works. It's, it stimulates his mind, especially as a puppy. He's working for his food. I know this because I'm actually Caesar Milan's cousin. I work on the ranch with him all the time. So it stimulates his mind, keeps him occupied, and then it's also kind of like a slow feeder. It's just called Wobble Bowl. <laughs> yeah. So. Which is also what I call my bam, mate. Eh? The Wobble Bowl. <laughs> yeah, right, you like that? That's a joke you can tell the kids. Without this bowl, in his bowl, he probably eats in three minutes. No. A minute. Probably. He's really cool. He doesn't yeah. even chew his food. He just swallows it whole. Yeah. Oh, I think he farted. This is also great when you don't know actually how to speak to your spouse too well. And like a dog's a really good thing to get to just make the awkward silence go away even though you've been together for a while, right? This is genuinely the most Kevin and I have spoken in 24 hours. Whoa! Okay, Farley, say goodbye to everybody because you've been good, okay? Say goodbye. Oh, he's drooling on your face. Bye, Farley. Bye. Say bye. Say bye-bye. Like literally, when is he gonna literally get a job and start talking? It's really weird that he's... We have lines to go over, okay? You're a child dog actor. Ridiculous. Okay, gang, this is the first Friday with Farley. Um, pretty laid back because we can't really leave our house here in Ontario. You'll see him grow each week. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you have any questions about a Newfoundland or a dog or how I eat from that bowl, let me know. It's really hard to eat like a full Sunday dinner from that bowl, but I can get there. It's really stimulating. Okay, talk to you later. That's Farley saying goodbye. <laughs>